So, the maestro is back in act and better than Ev. Only after waking up at 5 p.m. and pressing on to the brink of absolute despair, I have come back to you now to turn the tides of fate. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about my uh, life story, tell you guys a little bit more about my life, and then um, talk to you about why you should invest in yourself. And if you do, if you did start investing in yourself earlier, then it would have made your life a lot better. And same for me. And some of the obstacles that come in your way when you're trying to like make your life better. And uh, so, uh, a little bit about my life story that maybe people don't know about. Uh, when I was born, uh, my dad kicked my mom out of the house. <laughs> not mom. Mm, biological mom, but I not, see Lori. Um, the maestro does not call her mom. <laughs> not a chance. Um... So my, my biological dad kicked my biological mom out of the house when I was an infant, so I had to go live with my grandma until I was five years old. Um, that's when I met Gandalf and drank from the Chalice of Light in the Garden of Eden. No way, I was created out of thin air by Gandalf too, So, but I forgot about that because I was an infant. But anyway, um, uh, so I lived there until I was five, and then got back. Then my uh, dad, biological dad got to ba back together with my mom. And I moved back in to a house, like, out in the um, a rural area. Because uh, my grandma lived in, like, the city. So then uh, my dad was really abusive to me physically and mentally. And would, like, like uh, hit me all the time. And, uh, like, just swear at me. And that's where I picked up a lot of swearing from. I don't like swearing. Like... I realized it's so much better not to swear. There's no point to swear. It sounds bad. It's horrible. There's no point. So I've been, I've just had a habit of swearing my entire life from that. Um, and uh, my dad was just, I don't really remember too much about my dad at all. Because I, I haven't seen him since I was like 11 years old. When my mom finally got a divorce from my dad. And that's when we thought everything was going to be better. But um, my... I don't know, like, my dad, I, he didn't really t say anything besides, like, hit me and, and, like, abuse me. So, I don't even know, he didn't really teach me anything, you know? You know how dads are, like, supposed to teach your sons, like, do certain things, act certain ways? And that's what's the problem with, like, just America in general right now and our, our terrible culture. No parental figures in people's lives. Um... But I still came out pretty good. <laughs> well, I mean, I came out better than everyone. Not pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> oh, maestro. Uh, <clears throat> um, uh, I came out better than everyone. But, um, uh, and, um, I, so, when I was, uh, uh 11, my, my, yeah, my mom finally divorced my dad. And I was so happy because then I don't have to deal with... And living, we used to live in a house that... My mom was mean to me even then too, but she she would uh, at least, like, try to help me or, or, like, I don't know. Like, like she couldn't really do too much, I guess, because she's, like, a, a woman, you know, like who's, like, five foot, so she can't really hurt me too bad, you know, or do, like, anything. And when my dad's, like, six foot one. Um, and, uh... But... Mm, we used to live in, like, a ratty, disgusting, like, run-down, like, house, like, where the entire basement was chock-full of just, like, rusty nails and r r furniture that was... If you saw my basement, you couldn't walk in my basement. You couldn't walk. It was piled high with just junk. And uh, it would never get fixed. Uh, nothing would ever, like, happen. So it was just, like, a, just a junk pile, literally. Um, there wasn't one condom in there. I was looking for I said I wanted to have sex so bad. I'm just kidding. I don't use condoms. Um, uh, uh, but so I didn't learn how to talk to a girl. I didn't learn how to, like, better my life in any way. I didn't learn how to, like, talk to people. I had no social skills. Um, and my dad was just so weird from what I remember. He, like... I remember him, like, saying that, like, like, if he, like, there was somebody standing in front of him at, like, my soccer practice or something, and I remember him, like, saying, like, if I ask this guy to move out of my way, then I'm gonna just fight him or something. 
<laughs> like what? Just ask him to move out of the way, or or mo- so like I don't know. He was like a kind of like do it yourself kind of person, or 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 like else, or like I don't know. Uh, he I don't know. So like he did he didn't have, he didn't like teach me any like social skills. But like my mom never taught me to stand up for myself. So when I would get bullied my entire life, I would never know how to stand up for myself. So I would just take the bullying and take the bullying. And my dad never taught me to stand up for myself either. He would just taught me to kind of like slink into the corner and just try to get by, you know? So he didn't teach me anything. He just that's like what his personality was or whatever. So that's like what I was trying to do. But I realize I, the, the only way you'll ever get bullies to stop bullying you if you is to stand up for yourself. So I was I start finally started to gain my confidence in like eleventh grade and started to stand up for myself. But anyways, back to when I was um eleven and we finally moved into the new house and we thought things were gonna get better. But then my mom started picking up just picked up all the things my dad did to me and started doing to me because. Now, uh, th- th- there was no, like, like thing, so she could do whatever she wanted. Um, and uh, started doing everything to me, but even worse, because at least my dad wasn't, like, manipulative. Because my mo- see, Lori, she was the most, she's the most manipulative person. And the thing is, I didn't know what manipulation was. So, she, she would just manipulate you into doing anything in, like... I was too stupid to know what it was. Uh, I didn't understand what it was. So, for example, like, she would be like, Michael, come get in your car. Let's go to Olive Garden. And I'm like, oh, I haven't eaten in seven days because you don't feed me. So, we have to. Uh, And so, I would get in the car and she would drive me to, like, the counselor. Or to spend the entire day at my grandma's doing absolutely nothing, sitting there playing, like, backgammon and i'd go like insane like i couldn't stand it but that's just like one of the many hundreds of thousands of manipulation things i'm just i'm just telling you one of her manipulation like tactics like she would just completely outright lie or she would like go to mcdonald's purposely and be and be like if you finish all your homework we'll go to get food like she would hold food over my head like a lot so i wouldn't have like have food so i was malnourished during um my middle school so I did. I was supposed to be six foot one, six foot two, and and, and never ended up growing. I'm now I'm only five foot nine. So on Fiat Arch, uh, five foot ten on my driver's license. Legend. Wait, am I? No, I'm actually. Oh no, I think I actually only put five foot nine. Damn it. Um, but I'm six foot on my dating apps. Legendary. I don't have any dating apps anymore though. But I got banned on all of them. <laughs> Damn you, Tinder. Um. And then anyway. Um. So. She basically, she would manipulate me in any way. And like, so for example, another example is, I, if, if I did my, uh, Michael, can you get me a glass of water? If you get me this glass of water, then we'll go do this thing you want. I would go get her a glass of water? Oh, actually, can you go, get, can you go do the dishwasher too? I would go do the dishwasher and then you can have what you want. Oh, can you actually go do the garbage after that? She, she would tell me one thing after another to do before I would get what I want and then completely lie about it and make me do something else. So I found the best thing eventually after years and years and that's with her physically abusing me, scratching me, hitting me, punching me, calling the police on me, telling them things that I didn't do, um, saying lies to my family about what I, what I would uh, do to her and say to her. Um... And, uh, so manipulating all of them into not liking me. And, um, and of course, my devil sister, devil, devil worshiping sister, C. Elizabeth, uh, the cockroach, cocky, she got to be treated like the best you could ever be treated. If she, whatever she wanted to do at any moment in time, if she demanded to go to the mall right now, she see Lori would get up, get her out of school, go right to the mall, do anything she wanted at any moment in time. So she would make my life the absolute worst. But like, so I always, I actually wanted to start streaming when I was like 13 years old. But guess what? Like, so I wanted to invest in myself. I wanted to do things. I knew I was like entertaining and funny. Um, probably when I was like 15, 
when I started like trying to like gain my confidence a little bit, and I couldn't do anything because Lori wouldn't even let me play video games. She had like a thing on my WoW account that made it so I couldn't play. I couldn't play any other video games because she didn't like violence. She wouldn't let me have anything that had violence in it. The, like I remember, she bought. I was like seventeen years old, and she brought me home like a Winnie the Pooh video to watch, literally from the library or something. This person is in, completely insane. And obviously, Lori is an, uh, uh, see, Lori is, uh, insanely afraid of, uh, anything with germs. So she couldn't pick up something if it dropped off the ground. She couldn't go to public bathrooms. She couldn't go to a lot of places. Or even leave the house. For a long time. Um. So she's just completely nuts in every way. So, she's a complete nutty app. Uh, so I was never raised with, like, normal people who told me, like, what to do. I wish I, so I wish I had any guidance in life to tell me, like, this is what you do. Like, but I did. I was such a good kid. I never drank or did drugs. I've never had a sip of alcohol. I've never had a, a single drug in my entire life. I've never smoked disgusting weed. You should go to prison for the rest of your life if you do that. Um... I never, I've never skipped a single class. I've went to every single class... I got my bachelor's degree by the time I was 20 and got my master's degree when I was 21. And then, of course, I have an age past 21. I'm a hero. <laughs> I'm the fountain of youth. Um, but, so, I, I, I did everything while being, like, harassed in, in this environment. But I wanted to start streaming. I wanted to start making money. I worked at, like, eight or nine jobs during when I was in college and in high school to try to make any money I could. But I didn't know like the value of a dollar at all, really, because I would I would work and just spend the money on. So like in high school, the bullies would like use me, and I wouldn't even know it, like or have like we like. So we like like I would get picked up sometimes, like when I was like seventeen, probably by these kids, and we would go to like get food, and I would I, they would make me pay for their entire meal, and then they would leave me there to like walk home and stuff. And, like, for some reason, I wasn't picking up on that. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Now I'm the complete opposite. Now I'm going to stand girls up at restaurants and won't even pay for the meal while I'm there. <laughs> uh, but um, maybe that's why I can't get a girlfriend. Ah! Um, um, no, no, Maestro, that's not why. Um, it's because I hate them. Um, but um, so now I don't trust anyone. And you, like, can't trust anyone. But, like, I wish I had someone to tell me, like, invest in yourself, invest in this, put your money into this. Because whatever, I w and, and I really didn't waste that much money, maybe just, like, $1,000. But I did have $5,000 in my bank account that uh, C. Lori stole from me. And also all my child support money that my dad was uh, uh, had to pay, which was probably what, a, a lot of money over the years, like, probably, like, 100 I don't know. how Because he made $100,000 a year, so... He had to pay what fifteen hundred a month since I was like eleven years old. So you do that's a lot of money. That's like a hundred thousand dollars over. So I would have had an extra hundred thousand dollars if my mom did anything with that to help me. She didn't do any. She, I didn't sing a single dollar of my child support. So um, imagine if I invested that or had that um, more than a hundred thousand. So, but like, I just want to everyone. Everyone who's who's rich or uh, what the hell happened to my camera? Nah. This is treachery. Oh no, this is ruining my vid. The production quality is already so low; it can't get any lower. Oh no. Oh, you can see me good enough. I can. The maestro would have to hold it. I don't understand what's happening with my camera. But anyway, um, I wish anybody had told me like what to invest in. Or how to invest. Because they don't teach you any of that in school. At all. They don't teach you anything. Like, they don't even teach you how to go to the bathroom. You probably unlearn how to go to the bathroom in school. That's how, like, dumb they, do, like, make you. Um, they, this is what they do in, in school on your master's degree. How do you feel about math? How do you feel about the world around you? Do you like walking outside? It's a nice day out today. Is you think it's nice out today? Is that the sun? What? what? 
Like, I'm not kidding. This is like, this is what they'll do. So, um, you don't learn anything, and you just get dumber. <laughs> uh, so, what I want to do is invest in myself more. I want to, but what do I invest in? Do you guys know stream? Like, people have told me Bitcoin, I've done that and lost all my money instantaneously. Obviously, I didn't lose it because it's still in there. But, and I tried to even do, buy after the dips. After the dips, I buy. And I still lose money. I actually buy before the dips. Yeah, <laughs> I have nothing in my life. Um, who knew China was going to put up more regulations? Everyone. Um, but, so, I just want a better life for myself so bad and i just feel like i'm a lone hero against the evil mongolian invaders but i shall stand alone again like an absolute hero against the tides of absolute evil um and i'm so strong and like i i know i know i can do anything like i set my mind to and i'm not worried i don't worry about things that i can't control and i don't worry about things and i just press on for a better life but i I just wish I had a little bit of guidance on what I could invest in to make my life better because people always tell you, oh, invest in this. But, like, they don't never tell you what to invest in. They just say invest. So tell me what to invest in if you want me to invest. Um, and, um, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like... I don't want to waste another day of my life and I try to be happy with what I have and I'm so happy I live in America. Um, the Meister's a true absolute patriot descended by George Washbys. Um, I am Lincoln's son. But I want to put effort into something that can actually help me in my life. And like I'm willing to put all my effort in to work really hard at something as long as it's going to help my life. Um, and man, like, it's been hard, like, I can't even find a reason to smile anymore, unless I laugh at myself, <laughs> Maestro always makes himself laugh, but I used to, like, I remember I was a kid in class who, like, I remember I, I the, one of the kids would potentially say something that they thought was funny, and I would think, this is the least funny thing I've ever heard, like, what the, what are you saying right now? Um, and everyone else would, like, cackle and do their, like, like, hit, <laughs> and I'd be like, what, the, I hate them so much. So, like, I never thought, like, regular generic things were, like, that funny. Um, you know, I like to be original and, like, make funny things up myself, you know? So, yeah, that, that's just a little bit of my life story. And then if anybody can give me a little advice on what I can invest in to do to make my life better, because I, I don't want to waste my money. And I never do waste my money. I'm great. I save all my money, but that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to invest your money. So what do I invest my money in? Um, what can I do more to get a job? And um, what else I can do to a better life? And if you watch these videos, if you like these videos, you better watch these videos. If you like these videos, you better like these videos. Um, and uh, uh, like, uh, share, and subscribe. And if you want to see more of these videos, let me know. And the maestro never gives.